Lydia Day Dahl, Fight Connect TV, proudly sponsored by ESBC Boxing Game. And I'm delighted to be joined by Tommy Hitman Hodgson here at Steel City Interactive in Sheffield, home of ESBC Boxing Game. How are we doing? Very good, Lydia. How's you? I'm good. Good to have you in Sheffield, what I now call my home. Dan from Newcastle from the day. Anyone who's just switched on to this interview will be like, hold on a minute. Why are they at ESBC? What is going on? Before we get to that, let's talk about yourself. You made your professional debut this year. Now 2-0, and looking to go 3-0 and in December on the 17th. How has the turnover been? Unbelievable. The best start I could have asked for, to be honest. Uh, i just been, obviously, in between fights. I'm just constantly in the gym anyways, mm-hmm. learning. So uh, i just looking forward to my next fight in December and just, just staying on the gas, really. When we uh, attended your professional debut, we done a post-fight interview and I took a clip from it and I put it online. It's now at 70,000 views almost. Um, and it was a fantastic moment. It's myself, yourself, April Hunter and Joe Laws, very good friends yourself, and Dennis Hobson, uh, promoter at Fight Zone. Sticks his hand in and it's like, Tommy, one of the greatest professional debuts I've seen in 30, 35 years. Yeah. I mean, how does that make you feel? I mean, he's seen so many fights over the yeah. years, right? I, I was blown away, honestly. Like the, that, that full night I was like, so I was, but the, the lockdown just happened before it and obviously no, nothing was coming up and when that come up I was, pro- I, I took my chance straight away and then obviously when I boxed I like, the relief of winning and just like get, getting the ball rolling and when I come out the ring and you come and said that and I was like, Phew. even like after me fight the week after like the messages I was getting off people and that when I was walking down the street and I was speaking to people and that and like, it was unreal how like it is nice yeah. I know, I mean the professional debut is, it's a big night in any boxer's career Um. And, uh, you know, it's the start of the journey, so there's a lot of learning still to be done. You had a, a very high level of your amateur career, a lot of accolades, a um, lot of uh, achievements there. How much did that Team GB amateur background stand to you when you turned professional? Massive, massive. It wasn't just the Team GB as well, it was boxing for Berkeley. Mm-hmm. Berkeley was the best gym in the country, I would say, like, with training with the twins, uh, Frenchie Cyrus, uh, Mark Dickinson, Ben Rees, Joe Laws. Was, I think there was seven seven people from Berkeley on the uh, GB set up. So when I was going home from GB to, to my amateur club, it was just like being a GB again. Mm-hmm. Am I right in thinking that the sort of Team GB, that high level amateur uh, training that, that you had at Berkeley, that it, it's it's almost like professional. I mean, there's not yeah, much. Yeah. I mean, the only difference is kind of when you're in the ring, I suppose, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like down GB, you are training three times a day, up, up at seven o'clock, getting weighed in, straight on the track for your run, and then you've got your strength work. Then you obviously you're boxing at the night time, mm-hmm. so I it's exactly the same really to be honest. But the game itself is different. Like yeah. you need to slow down and uh, you've got more time to look and stuff like that. And when when to put your foot on the gas and when to step off and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Which I'm still learning now and I'm I'm liking it. So absolutely. Well, let's get to the exclusives because I know people will be watching this and be like, give us the bloody exclusive <laughs> already. <laughs> so we've got two brilliant exclusives coming out here today. Uh, first one, obviously, let's talk about your new long term promotional agreement that you've just signed with Dennis Hobson and Fight Zone. Congratulations. Yeah, I was buzzing when I heard about it. Um, obviously, me and me debut on a Fight Zone uh, card, I've seen the setup and stuff like that. And but the people that can't make it with the Fight Zone app as well, they can watch mm-hmm. it at home, so it's class. Eh? Well, that is the thing about Fight Zone, is that the production and the kind of outpouring of the level of the production is up there with any of the big promotions that that are in this country. I mean, you have the app, you have the social media, you have, you know, when you're doing your post for interviews, everything is so professionally run. It must be amazing to to be a fighter and be on a card like that. Yeah, especially, I'm I'm only two and all as well. So when all this started happening, I was like, geez, this happened pretty early and it's good, Mm -hmm. it's nice. Takes a lot of stress off my shoulders for fights and stuff like that because I'm, I'm always penciled in stuff like that, so it's nice. Well, this is the thing. I mean, we're not kind of out of the water yet in terms of boxing being back and all the kind of shows being mm. able to run without, you know, certain restrictions and different things. So it must be really nice for you to know that you have, you know, a guarantee almost that you will be out, you will be active, which I imagine is the yeah. most important thing, right? 100%. Everyone wants to fight, don't they? That's, yeah. that's how I win, yeah. But uh, like I say, after after a fight, I'm straight back in the gym anyways, so... And this is just perfect for me because I'll be straight back in the gym, ready for another, another day straight away. So amazing! And the next day is December seventeenth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, December seventeenth. Right after, I say after, after I fight, I'm straight back in the gym. So I'm in good stuff for this, good set for this fight as well. So can't wait. And we're going back to Pons Forge yeah, in Pons Sheffield. Forge. So there's a good, good juju there uh, yeah. because of the pro debut, right? Yeah, there's loads of people. Like <laughs> there's loads of people who don't know us for tickets and stuff like that. So it's nice. It is good. Like great stuff. Now let's get on to the even another part of the the exclusive. Two amazing exclusives here today, and the reason why we're down here at Steel City Interactive, 
at ESBC is I am delighted to officially announce that Tommy Hitman Hodgson is now officially been inducted into the ESBC game. Congratulations, you're going to be in a boxing video game. <laughs> it's crazy, I know, it's crazy. Like, as a kid, I've always played all the fight night games and all the boxing games, and everyone for years has been waiting for a boxing game to come out, and, and I'm going to be on it. It's, it's absolutely crazy. amazing, and I know our viewers that are watching this, they can't see the setup that's going on behind us here. Um, if you've seen any of the behind the scenes ESBC footage that Fight Connect TV has put out, you will know or see how the, the, the scanning room looks, You know how it's all set up. We're about to get you scanned in, so that's why the guys are getting set up behind us. We couldn't have our interview in front of it, but you know what it looks like. Um, but I mean, just to be here and to see how everything is with all these cameras, the setup, I mean, it's kind of overwhelming when you come here first, yeah, it's right? It's different. I, I've never seen nothing like it. Yeah. Nah, like I'm looking forward to getting in, to be honest. No, we can't wait to see you getting scanned. I mean, let's look at the roster. I mean, the roster is huge, but some of the biggest names that are on it, right? Tyson Fury, Alexander Yusik, Canelo, Lomachenko, Deontay Wilder. I mean, can you imagine Tommy Hit Hitman Hodgson is there? And also your namesake, Ricky Hitman Hatton, also in there legends, as well, right? All legends of people I look up to. And, um, now there's a chance for me playing them on the game. It's yes. mad. It's like in years to come, I'm going to look back at this game and think, like, I was on that boxing game. Yes, and listen, it's an opportunity that new 2-0 and o professionals do not get nah, given, nah. right? That's what, I'm, that's what I was like, so when I, when, I, when I first found out, I was like, like, this early, is this happening? And I was like, yeah. geez, that's nice, like, I, 2-0 and o and the superstars are out in the game. And this is it. Good, well, good. listen, you've, you've, you've tough, uh, tough, uh, what would we say, uh, roster to compete with but you know no doubt you'll get there before we, we we finish up our interview i want to get your manager jamie sheldon to jump in for a very quick chat because we have to we have to give a nod to the management company jamie sheldon uh, manager yeah. at one empire management thank you very much for jumping in uh, like i was you heard the conversation i had with tommy there like incredible news long-term promotional agreement with fights on and dennis hobson and now also news that he's going to be in the esbc game fantastic yeah it's, it's great news for him and the uh, thing is we believe in kids so we're going to give him every opportunity to progress and get as much out of boxing and get out of sport as he can mm -hmm. uh, our, our job as a management company is just to look after him and look after his best interests, and that's what we're doing I mean, uh, let's look at the promotional agreements. Like he said, any young fighter, what they want is to be active, to get out there. When we look at, you know, getting him out there, Fight Zone is the perfect stage in terms of, you know, the production, the the setup. You know, it's a great night out for all his family and friends. They get to come down on December 17th. Yeah. It just seems like the perfect start to a professional career. Yeah, it's a great start. It's a great start for his professional career. Um, the the guys at Fight Zone they've they've given us everything that we've asked for, mm -hmm. and they've been easy to work with. And and coming off a GB pedigree like he did, being active all the time, this suits him. This platform suits him, and I think I think that's when he'll uh, he'll really push on and progress. Amazing. Also, let's talk about this ESBC exclusive. I know yourself, your good yeah, self, from your yeah. Cutman heritage <laughs> is also in the game. We had that exclusive a couple of months ago. <coughs> also, uh, your uh, <laughs> your post fight interview uh, E is here as well. Um, but I mean, the, what the guys are doing down here in ESBC is incredible. Um, it must be so exciting for you as a manager to have given that news to Tommy that he's going to be in the game as well. Yeah, it's, un it's unbelievable for him. But like I said, it's, it's another opportunity for him and it's opening him up to a worldwide audience as well because we believe he's going to be a star. Yeah. So let's get him out to wider public uh, uh, as quick as we can absolutely well listen i won't keep you too much longer before i let you go we obviously have two superstars that are in the asbc game sean porter and terence crawford both facing each other this weekend over in the states i have to get your predictions before i let you go what do you reckon jamie crawford 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 definitely we're all going crawford here terence crawford it is but if it doesn't work out and sean porter gets the win we can always have a rematch in a couple of months or whenever the game is out and we'll have our rematch then and, and we'll see how it plays out in, in the Terence Crawford versus Sean Porter 2 on ESBC Boxing Game. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, Tommy Hitman-Hodgson and Jamie Sheldon for Fight Connect TV.